Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. Uh, the problem reads, uh, determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in tension or compression. Hint, the horizontal force component at A must be zero. Why? This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics Statics uh, textbook, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. Right, they've given us a hint to say we don't expect any horizontal force here. Okay, which horizontal force is being talked about here? We don't have a force in this direction, eh? X. Okay. Why? Okay, because um one, we don't have any applied force at A in the horizontal direction or at an incline. Two, uh, that would be one of the reasons. The other reason is we don't have any member. If let's say we had a member like this okay you've seen this would have had a contribution okay maybe at a therefore could have had horizontal force so either a member connected at a okay this would be one of the connections but this would make the structure uh statically indeterminate right mm -hmm. of course uh, but such a connection like this would introduce a horizontal force at A. So we don't have such a connection here. And uh, therefore, we just expect just one axial force throughout member AD. All right, let's go directly into solving the problem. For a problem like this one, there is really no need for you to work out a support reaction. If, even be it we are able to, you can just go directly to start working out the problem because... Uh, we are able to okay because uh, we can use the joint method when the number of unknowns at a given joint are two or less okay so we can go directly to work on the problem again let me repeat myself you can work you can use the joint method okay to find this forces member forces if the number of unknowns at the particular joints are equal to or less than two so uh, less than or equal to two unknowns right okay so which joint here do you think we can start with we are going to start with C because it has two unknowns all right once we found C then it will be easier for us to find B and then we are done right okay so since we just want the member forces let's go for joint C so C, um, I expect, okay, okay, I'm going to assume this direction like this to say, remember, CD is going to undergo some compression and also member CB is going to undergo some compression like that. Okay. And then... We expect two components here, one component like this, then the other component like that. This component is going to be equal to 800 cos 60. This other component will be 800 sine 60, right? Let's apply the equations of equilibrium for joint, joint what, joint C. All right, which direction do we start with? Doesn't matter which one. Uh, summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. This being our reference positive. So we have CB minus 800 cos 60 is equal to zero. Therefore, CB is equal to, what is CB equal to? 800, uh, 800 cos 6, the cos 60 is 30, is 0.5, right? So this is 400, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to be 400 pounds. And this one is in compression. Okay, and then you have summation of forces in the Y, that being our reference positive. What we have, we have a CD minus 800 uh, sine 60 equal to 0. Our CD is going to be equal to uh, 800 sine 16. What is 800 sine 60? That's 
point eight two zero three pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this one I can just write to decimal places. This is fine. Will I use that? Okay, this is pounds, and this one is also in compression. All right, so we are done with uh, CB. Let me again 800 sides, 692.82. Right, so we are done with CD and CB. Let's go to another point which is uh which is b joint b okay we've already found uh b c or c b and we said it is in compression so we expect it also here to be directed towards uh, the joint b and this c b is equal to 400 pounds all right let's assume this one is um let's assume it is in compression i mean in tension and this one is going to be equal to bd and let's assume this one to be in compression and this one is a b the slope here for this is we have at the bottom a three the height is a 4 and the hypotenuse 4 squared plus 3 squared root of okay that's 5 so we have that that's a slope so this force is going to have two components it will have one component in this direction like this okay so this one will be BD BD uh, 3 over 5 and then it will have another component which is BD um, 4 over 5 okay so let's it let, let let us work it out okay okay so this is joint BD okay I've wrapped everything I need that information right so let me write down CB here is equal to 400 pounds in compression and CD is equal to 692.82 pounds and this also in compression then we can go ahead to do the rubbing right so we are on joint joint as joint joint what joint B right okay so which one do we start with i think we are going to start with doesn't matter which one because um no the horizontal matters summation of forces in the x we have few unknowns positive like so so we have a minus 400 mm -hmm. Then we have a plus BD, BD uh, 3 divided by 5. Mm -hmm. What else? That's the only one is equal to 0. Therefore, our BD is going to be equal to positive. Positive. So we say 400. Uh, divided by 3 divided by 5 All right so we have a 600 and 6 point uh, okay there we go we have a 666.6667 six, six, six six, 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 I'll write everything like this and this one is we say this intention great then summation of forces in the y equal to zero. There we go. What do we have? We have a minus 600. Mm -hmm. Then we have a plus, plus AB. Mm -hmm. And then we have a minus 
BD by 4 over 5 equal to 0. Therefore, our AB is going to be equal to, mind you, we've already found what BD is. So we just replace it where? There. Okay, so let's go ahead. Minus 600. Uh, plus, my, minus 600, then minus BD. What was our BD? 666.6667 times 4 over 5. Mm -hmm. What do we have? We have a 1, 1, 3, 3 point, uh, 3, 3, just 3, 3, since this is the final answer, right? Only have 1, 2, 3, 4. We found already the 2, so this one is pounds like that, and it's in compression. Okay, let me just repeat, minus 600, minus 666. 0.6667 times 4 divided by 5, 1133.33. Okay, so there we go, and this one we say DC in compression. Okay, let's write down. So we have BD, BD is equal to 666.67. Pounds and this in tension. Okay, then we have AB, which is equal to one one three three point three three pounds and this in compression. All right, I guess we are done. I guess we are done, and this is the final solution. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, and share my video, and continue subscribing. Bye-bye, and see you in my next uh, screencast.